Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Question 2 on the 2020 paper 2. The points A46, B minus 2, 2, and C, 10, 0 are the vertices or corners of the triangle ABC shown below. Find AB, the length of AB. Okay, those two lines are maths language for the length of. Give your answer in the form A root B units, where A and B are an element of N. Okay, so when you're doing coordinate geometry, which is what this chapter is, it's the points, uh, you need the page in the log tables that gives you all of the formulas and I think I'm gone past it. Okay, uh, so trig, geometry, coordinate geometry. Okay, so the length, okay? And it could also be called distance is this formula here. Okay, so the length of PQ is the square root of X2 minus X1 to be squared plus Y2 minus Y1 to be squared. Okay, so the length of AB in our case is the square root of x2 minus x1 to be squared plus y2 minus y1 to be squared. Okay, taken straight from the log tables, know that they're there, you'll get some marks for recognizing that that's the formula that you're using. Next step, if it's the length of AB that you're doing, then take down the points AB, which is four, six, and B is minus two, two, and label them. And you're labeling them as per this. So X of your first point, Y of your second point, sorry, X of your first point, Y of your first point, that's why they're called X1, Y1, because every point is X, Y, and then your second point, X2, Y2, X and Y of your second point. So X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and then you sub in. So instead of x2, you do 2. Instead of x1, you do 4, and so on and so forth. Okay, so instead of x2, I do minus 2. Instead of x1, I do 4 squared plus. Instead of y2, I do 2. Instead of y1, I do 6. Okay, and I put all that into the calculator in one fell swoop. Hit the square root sign, put the brackets where the brackets are, close your bracket squared, plus bracket two minus six, close your bracket squared. And I get um, the length of AB then is equal to two root 13. And I know that I leave it as that because it says to give your answer in the form A root B. There's your A, your root, your B. So you have confidence that you're more than likely right because the answer you got resembles the form that they asked for it in. Part B, find the coordinates of D, the midpoint of AB. Okay, so midpoint, back we go, slope length midpoint. So X1 plus X2 over 2, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Uh, X1 plus X2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 over 2. And the midpoint is, is nothing more than the middle way, halfway between A and B. Okay, so let me take down A again. It's 4, 6. B is minus 2, 2. Okay, so the midpoint is a point. That's why it's got commas around it and a sorry, brackets around it and a comma between, and you're going halfway between the x values, the four and the minus two, halfway, which is the, the divide by two, of the y values. So, for example, halfway between six and two, well, I would expect the midpoint coordinate of y to be four, because four is halfway between two and six. A bit harder to see what's halfway between minus two and four, but it'll be one. Okay, you don't have to work them out in your head though. X1, Y1 of my first point, X2, Y2 of my second point. So X1, four, P1, 
plus minus 2 over 2, comma, y1, 6 plus 2 over 2, comma, okay? And you can only put one coordinate into the calculator at a time. So hit the fraction button, 4 plus minus or 4 minus 2 over 2 is indeed 1. And 6 and 2 is 8 over 2 is 4. So the midpoint or the middle point between A and B is 1, 4. In the triangle ABC, the point E equals 7, 3 is the midpoint of AC. Show that DE is parallel to BC. Okay, so again, flicking back a little bit to theory. Okay, so parallel lines and coordinate geometry. So parallel lines, so you can see they're going in the same direction. They want to show that DE is parallel to BC. Now, if I could draw them properly, they would be, they would never meet. Parallel lines have the same distance between them all the way along. They go on forever and they never meet. Okay, in coordinate geometry, we show that um, by showing that they've equal slopes, okay? Slopes is how slanty a line is, or it's the, the slope or the slant of the line. So if you show that the parallel lines, each line has the same slant or slope, then if the, their slopes are equal, the lines are parallel, okay? The other one you need to know is perpendicular lines, okay? They don't have equal slopes, but if you multiply their slopes together, you get minus one or turn one slope upside down and change the sign. If you've got one slope, you can get the, the one perpendicular to it by turning it upside down and changing the sign. So they're the two really important pieces of theory you need to know about lines and slopes. But this is parallel, so I'm going to get the slope of DE, the slope of BC, and show that they're equal. So again, to the formula book, slope, we kind of jumped over slope. Slope is given the letter M. Don't confuse it with midpoint, but little m is slope y2 minus y1. So slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so if I'm going to get the slope of DE, then I'm going to write down the point D, which was the midpoint, 1, 4. E is the point 7, 3. I'm doing DE here first, x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so let's work out that slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Hit the fraction button on your calculator, 3 minus 4 on the top, 7 minus 1 on the bottom. So I'm getting minus a sixth. Okay, now let's get uh, BC. Okay, so B is the point minus 2, 2, and C is the point, let's go back for C, 10, 0. Label them x1, y1, x2, y2, and again, put them into your slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so 10 minus 2 on the top, 10 minus minus 2 on the bottom. And I am getting two thirds for that one. Just trying to see what I'm doing wrong. Two minus Y one over X two minus X one. That looks good. BC. B is minus two, two. And C is indeed 10, 0. So 10 minus 2, y2 minus y1 over x2. Um, yeah, I'd expect them to have equal slopes. So I'll have another look at them um, after I finish the recording and see, but I would have expected those two to have equal slopes. And that's how I would show that the lines are indeed parallel. Okay, so I'll have a look at that one again and I'll post a message. Find the area of the triangle ABC. So let's have a look at our triangle again. 
I'm just going to cop copy this first. Um, and I'm going to show you how you um, can find the area of a triangle. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of ways of finding the areas of a triangle. Some of them you know already. Um, so I'm going back to area and volume here. Half the base by the perpendicular height is one. Okay, this is on the area and volume page nine. There's another one you, you'd have from trach, half AB sine C. Okay, or there's another one on the coordinate geometry page, which is given here, half X1, Y2 minus X2, Y1. Okay, so let me copy that one there now. Okay, so some things I want you to note about using this um, formula. Do you see it's only got two points in it? X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Now, a triangle has three points. So which two points do you use and does it matter? Okay, well, yes, it does matter because if you can imagine I can use AB, well, then that's kind of saying that it doesn't matter where C is and you're going to get the same area. So you can see there I drew a different location for C and those two triangles sure do have a different area. Okay, so what do you do? Well, you move one of your points to zero, zero, and then you move the other two points by the same amount and then you use the formula. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, what you do is you move one point to zero, zero. So it's like you're lifting up the triangle and you're shifting it so that one of the corners is on the origin, on zero, zero. Okay, and I'm going to pretend that C for no reason at all, only that it aligns with the diagram. And then I move A and B by the same amount. So whatever I moved C by to get to the origin, I move A and B by the same amount because I don't want to change the size of the triangle. I just want to move it so that one of its vertices, one of its corners is on zero, zero. And these new locations for A and B then become the points that I put into the formula. OK, so so let's let's go with C. It doesn't matter which point you move. OK, so C was the point I, I took there, 10, 0. OK, and I'm going to move him to zero, zero, OK, so that I can get the area of that triangle. So what did I do to the X coordinate? Well, I subtracted 10 off it. So in other words, I moved back 10 places. So 10 is out here. I moved back 10 places to get to zero. And what did I do to the Y? Well, I didn't move it at all. OK, so I just needed to move the X back by 10. So what you do then is you do that to your other two points, okay? So let's move A, which is the point four, six by the same amount, okay? So what I'm saying is I need to subtract 10 off the X coordinate and I don't need to do anything to the Y, okay? So four minus 10, that point will end up at minus six and I don't do anything to the Y coordinate. And then I need to move B, which is uh, minus 2, 2. Um, so again, that's moving back by minus 10. I have to move it by the same amount as C. So I get minus 2 minus 10 is minus 12. And of course, the 2 isn't moving at all. Okay, so these two points down here, these x1, y1, x2, y2, these become the points that I now put into this formula, okay? So area is equal to a half of x1 by y2 minus x2 by y1, okay? So when the letters are butted up each, against each other like that, that means multiply, okay? So a half, well, I'm gonna leave the half there for now, okay? Because uh, I wanna see what whether I get a positive or, or negative number in the minute. So minus six by two, six twos are 12, minus 
72. Okay, so a half of minus 12 plus 72. So half of 60 is 30 units squared. I don't know if they're meters or centimeters or kilometers, so units will do that. Okay, so that's how you get the area of a triangle. If it had a flat bottom and um, like a right angle there, I would do half the base by the perpendicular height, okay? But with that triangle with slanted lines, okay, I can't read off the length of AB. These aren't perpendicular to each other, so I don't have a perpendicular height. So that's why I can't use half the base by the perpendicular height. So. This is called a translation where you move one point to zero, zero, translate the other two points by the same amount and then calculate the area. OK, so if you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.